So in today's video I'll be doing a bit of a different one uh, as I do every single video and um, I'll be ranking Kanye West albums yes I have to come out as a Kanye fan and uh, I'm not saying I'm supporting what he's doing right now but I do like his music quite a lot so um, let's get into it so here we are on my bang I know it's bang blah 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 yeah I've, I've heard enough I've heard enough of roasting from bang but yeah, when I'm being, I'm gonna be ranking the albums. I can't count how many because I'm not that good with math now. And um, yeah, we'll start off with um, from left to right. I'm not gonna go in chronological order because that's too hard. I told you I'm not good with math. So we're gonna start off with uh, I hate being bipolar, which is pretty much. I'm pretty sure the album's name is Yay. But um, this album, Bang is. Most of the songs, um, I'd say, we will be ranking in comparison to the like the base Kanye level, not normal music because I'm a Kanye glazer and I would put everything in S. But I'm gonna be ranking on like Kanye's performance sort of thing. So, I hate being bipolar. The peaks bring it up so much. Ghost Town and Violent Crimes, probably two of my. Some of my favorite songs. Absolutely amazing Kanye album. Not enough. First of all, that brings it down at uh, not enough bang. There's two that I can really think about, but the songs they don't come along in my mind as much. So for that, I'll go into B. It'll be a high B though, a high B. Then um I forgot the name of this one, but it's the one with Kit Cuddy. Kids to Ghost, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah. But is Reborn on this one? I think so. It's not very memorable for me. I know my friend likes it a lot, but I never really uh, fucked up with that much because Kid Cudi, his vocals are nice, but Cudi is just not my favorite rap personally. I'll, I'll have to put it in C for me. This. Tier list is not objective, it's subjective. Um, but, uh, Jesus King. Jesus King, uh, I'd say it's one of the better, er like Kanye errors. Because um, Christian Kanye is leagues above current Kanye. And even though I prefer Vultures over Jesus King. I just don't like what Kanye's been doing currently, like publicity wise. Obviously, he's like coming back, he's like, um, I'd say, prime time uh, hype sort of timing, whatever. But, whatever. but like, the way that he just became so hateful and like, I don't know, he, he's just losing the chillness of the early Kanye. If you know what I mean? He's uh, becoming more and more bitter. And angry and I really don't like seeing that so for that I will have to bring up Jesus King because he's just singing about God and nothing's wrong with that still bangers like um, God is one of my favorite songs every other song not as much God is is definitely a highlight for me for that I'll give it a B after after a heavy weapon then um Old drop classic, obviously classic, and uh, there's too many bangers to even like count really. Family business, Starship, nice. New workout plan, or new workout plan. Never let me down. There's there's too many, too many bangers. Pretty much the entire album is banger. Gotta be S. Gotta be S. So can't put it any like any lower I can't because it's a staple in the music industry and you, you cannot argue with that if you're a Swifty if you're if you're an alien you cannot argue with that I don't care um, late registration S for this the album's good but roses and hey mama like I don't care if the entirety, the whole album was 
pure dog shit. I still had those two songs. I would still put in those beautiful songs. Beautiful two songs. Other songs like um, Diamonds from Sierra Leone and um, Drive Slow. Still amazing songs. But um, Roses and Hey Mama are the ones that like stuck to me, like to my cranium, and I will never ever bring the album down for those two songs. Then um, we have um, Graduation. Graduation, yeah, that's right. Uh, a popular opinion, I don't fuck with Graduation as much as other people do. I know there's the Good Morning and um, Flashing Lights. A, a lot of a lot of really big Kanye songs, and that's like Kanye is a prime time. As he says in I Wonder. But, hmm. I don't know what it is for me, but I never really, like, it never hit the soul, you know what I mean? When, I know when the Japanese version is, uh, Bittersweet Poetry, and that song really hits. I really like that song, but for some reason it's not worldwide, it's only the Japanese release, and you have to go on fucking Spotify, I mean, SoundCloud to listen to it. And, uh, for that, um, I don't know, I think, I think it's still an A. Or do I? Ooh. Because personally, I wouldn't put graduation over a hit being bipolar. Personally, that's just me. Fuck. Damn. Okay. Hit away heartbreak. S tier. This is the Kanye era when he really became like revolutionary, if you think about it. Because no other rapper would like dare to sing in their songs. Right, kind of. And when he dropped 8 hour heartbreak, it was like a, it was like, it was a revolutionary album. I'm glazing so hard, but what do you expect from Kanye? Kind of? And um, Robocop, Heartless, Coldest Winter, man, banger album, banger album. And um, can't put it anywhere lower. I would actually. You know what? I'll rearrange it this way. That's that's me personally. I'll rearrange it this way for now. Um, my dark twist of fantasy. That's Kanye at like most Kanye. That's when he came back up to his uh, first fallout, first media fallout, and um, ooh, it was a comeback strong. The comeback was strong. I can't put it higher than A. Lost in the World, but my favorite song on the album. Ooh, Runaways on it as well. But I feel like Runaways just redundant by now. It's just been used so many times. It's still an amazing classic, but I've, I've kind of grown to um, lose feelings for it, if that makes sense. Because I've just heard it probably like more than a billion times by now. And, um, it's still an amazing album. But I can't put it. In Estia. Even though it's younger than older? No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we'll release first. Heart, heartbreak or... Even though it's younger, but I feel like um, a lot of the songs are overplayed and uh, that's what brings it out for me. Now, is it King of the Throne? The one with Jay Z. The one with Jay Z? Pretty hype. It's a hype album. I'll give it that. But it's not a uh, revolutionary album. Right? It doesn't it doesn't really catch my soul. Gotta have it as a banger. Then there's uh, "Fellas in Paris." It's pretty much the only, the only two songs that I remember. Well, no, "Love Me So," "Love Me So" is a good one. Still doesn't give it an S. Still doesn't give it an S. But I've actually never seen this album cover. I'm not sure what this is. Call me a Kanye. Fake Kanye fan, whatever. Well, I'll just put it in D because I don't know what this album is. Maybe it's it kind of looks similar to um, King King of the Throne or something like that, but I don't know about this album. Then there's Jesus. Jesus, I don't really like. I feel like Kanye. That's when Kanye really started getting a bit too ar 
arrogant. Um, guilt trip. Ooh, good. Um, but no, what else? Hold my liquor. Ooh. <clears throat> Good, but I can't put it too high up personally. I will actually put it top of B tier. I'll have to, but it's uh, yeah, yeah. This will be the ranking for me so far. Then there's Saint Pablo. Saint Pablo. Saint Pablo is my favorite album. I'm putting it top of S tier. Saint Pablo is my favorite album for a multitude of reasons. The um, songs about God, I really appreciate. Uh, last song of the album, uh, the song Saint Pablo, the Life of Pablo. Uh, that's what was, that's what I'm saying. I love Saint Pablo so much. This album became Saint Pablo was the first song that really got me in love with Kanye and the uh, Wolves. Fuck my life, fake friends, man. Life of Pablo is good. Life of Pablo is good. And you cannot deny it. You can't say that it's bad. Everyone knows it's at least top three. For me, it's top one. Everyone knows it's top three. And uh, next we got Donda. Donda I actually didn't like for a long time. The amount of like reused songs and the, the amount of... Uh, I feel like a lot of the songs are very dragged out. Uh, recently kind of grew on me. In particular, one song that really carries it for me is Jail. I really, really like Jail. And then, um, Donda? I would have to put it in uh, B? Like, yeah, I think I have to rearrange a bit of albums. I think, uh, um, um, uh, yeah, it would have to go up a bit. Graduation would have to go up a bit. And yeah, I think that I think that's better for now. And then and last but not least we've got vultures. And it might be recency bias. It might be something else. But vultures. Man! That's good. Vultures, despite all the stupid ass lyrics. The beats carry so hard. And songs like Burn, songs like Back to Me. Stupid ass lyric. Big booty bitches don't just follow this guy. Such a catchy hook, man. Mm. The glazing's hard, you know. I know the glazing's hard, but um Vultures was amazing. It might be either top of A. No, I can't put it I can't put it above uh, beautiful black fantasy. I can't I gotta get Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So um, let's finalize the list, shall we? Let's switch this. Switch this. And I think. I think that's my list. Yeah. You might disagree. You might agree. I I doubt that people will agree. But this is it for me. There's not any unreleased albums. I don't know if this, I don't know if this album is released or not. I've actually never seen it. But there's no uh, Zandy. There's no, uh, no, no unreleased albums in this one. But a lot of unreleased Kanye music is just as good, if not better, what he actually released. I'll give you some good unreleased songs um, after you. Bellissimo. What else? Um, Real Brothers? Mm -hmm. Amazing. No, you just brother. Then there's um, Apologize. Those are my top three unreleased songs by Kanye. And then you should really go into SoundCloud and listen to some uh, unreleased Kanye playlist. You find a lot of gems that you never even knew existed. Yeah, that's my list. So yeah, that was my Kanye album tier list. I might do a Kanye song tier list but I'll take like an hour but um yeah thanks for watching if you disagree comment down below but yeah see ya